What is up, champs and champ bats? We are back. We've got Disc Golf Shorty on the channel today. Hi. The better half of Putt Confidently. We're out here at the Rocks in Sheffield, Massachusetts, playing a little doubles, and we're talking about a putting tip that I think could be really helpful, really useful information that Marissa was telling me about the other day while she was doing some practicing. So let's get into so it. So like Kevin said, I am the better half of Putt Confidently, except when it comes to the actual sport of disc golf, I kind of suck. Uh, but this year I've decided I want to try my hand at competing in tournaments. And so I've decided to um, dedicate more time to practicing, which of course includes practice putting. So the other night I go down into my basement and I made a big mistake. Um, and that is that I tried to implement all the put confidently principles all at once. Um, forearm over quadricep, xiphoid process, aim towards the basket. And I immediately became very frustrated, overwhelmed, ready to cry. So I call up Kevin, you know, thinking maybe he knows a thing or two about putting. And he gave me some really, really good advice. My advice to her was to pick, pick one thing. And I think until you are like a 900 rated putter, maybe then you can start to work on two things at once in a practice session. But if you don't think you're anywhere near a 900 rated putter, pick one thing. And I think that one thing to start right now would be to hit your brace, to work on hitting your brace. That was in principle number three, um, part two, I believe. If you were going to do, if you feel like you're already hitting your brace pretty well, but still missing your putts, I would say that painting the pole. Uh, principle number one would be your first uh, first place to start. What do you think about that, Marissa? Oh, I agree. <laughs> so keep in mind, when I called Kevin, before I called Kevin, I was missing all over the place. Left, right, high, low. So I took his advice and I focused on one thing. And that one thing was painting the pole. Um, I spent some time with that and got really comfortable with it. And once I felt that was going well, I decided to move on to the second thing, which was my timing and hitting my brace. Um, and then after some time with that, I started seeing a lot less misses left and right. Um, you know, not perfect by any means, but uh, a much more productive practice session that I felt really good about. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So as you can imagine, I was very happy to get this uh, report back from Marissa that the practice session ended up going pretty well and um, taking a step back, going back to the basics uh, really worked for her. And I think that's just a little bit of evidence that it also can work for you and that um, sometimes, you know, doing too much too fast is, is not the right thing to do. So hopefully you can learn from my trash putting session. Don't cry, don't give up on the sport. Take it one step at a time, one, one principle at a time. And if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Uh, but as Kevin would say, we will catch you later.